adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, the four power tools of math. So let's use them to build a bridge over the biggest math problems. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, check the description down below. Like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get down into it. So jumping into mixed operations, we know that this is going to be a combination of adding and subtracting, but also multiplying or maybe dividing algebraic terms. So if you've not seen episode one or two of Algebra 101 series, pause this video and go check that out. But if you're still with me, let's do this. Our age old mathematics tells us that when I multiply a term such as four, one term with 5a with an entire bracket of 5a minus 6b, I need to multiply four with both the 5a and the negative 6b term. And so how would we do this? Well, four multiplied by 5a, I multiply the coefficients, which is four multiplied by five is 20. And the only variable I have is a. And let us look then at the second term, four multiplied by negative six b. Well, a positive four multiplied by negative is a negative, and four times six is 24. And again, my only variable is b. And so you need to ask yourself, can I simplify further by adding or subtracting like terms? Well, you might spot that there are no like terms here. And so therefore, this stays our final answer. But what happens if I have a more complicated example like the following? Well, the method will always stay the same because that is the wonderful thing about mathematics. All right, so let us apply the method that we've learned. Two multiplied by four a is going to be eight a. Two multiplied by negative six b will be negative 12 b. All right, well, that was our first term, this entire first term right here that has been dealt with. Now, let us look at the second term right here. So we have positive three multiplied by eight a. And so positive multiplied by positive is a positive and three times eight is 24. And our only variable there is a. And so let us then look at this next step. Three multiplied by negative four b. Well, that would be a positive times a negative. Three times four is 12, and our only variable is b. And ask ourselves one last time, can I add or subtract any like terms? So identify the like terms. Here I have a variable with a a, and here's a variable with a. Wonderful, those are like terms. And see if you can spot the other like terms. Negative 12b, negative 12b. And so let us simplify this one last time. 8a plus 24a. Well, 8 plus 24 is going to be 32. And my variable is a. And then we have negative 12b. And we subtract another 12b. So we are going to be looking at the coefficients, negative 12, negative 12, negative 24, and the variable b, and that will be my final answer. So how was that? Easy, right? Give it a try, do your best, and remember to pray for the rest.